Hey guys, for a long time I've been wanting to bring you a series of tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. And we're really fortunate to have Jackie, who has a lot of experience with both. She's part of our studio now. She's going to take you through a series of tutorials starting off with the basics. We want to arm you with these because we're going to start a contest in July. Lucky winner will win stuff from our sponsors like SanDisk and Bay Photo, really cool stuff. So make sure you pay attention to what she's telling you. Get out and shoot your own photos. And over to you, Jackie. OK, let's get started. Hi, guys. So I'm starting with a series about importing photos into Lightroom 5. This episode, I'm going to be covering folder organization and structure, as well as importing existing images. So first, I want you guys to open Lightroom. And once it opens, you'll see you don't see any of your photos. Um, this is because they have not been imported. Let's go and look at your folder structure. Do you guys use an external or internal hard drive? Either is fine. Um, I'm using an external hard drive called Silver Photos. If you open it, you will see that I have a folder structure. Um, you want this. You don't want to just import your files into your external hard drive and they're all jumbled. We want some kind of organization. So you'll see inside each folder, I have subfolders, raw, TIFF, and JPEG. Raw is where I will dump the photos straight from the camera. Here you see. And TIFF and JPEG is where I will dump the photos after editing them in Lightroom. They're empty. OK. So now let's go into Lightroom and we will talk about importing existing images. Again, you'll see that none of your photographs are visible and that's because Lightroom utilizes a catalog to store information about your images. You will need to import into the library catalog before you can start working with Lightroom. The import option is found on the lower left panel right here. You can also go to File, Import Photos and Video, or you can hit um, Control-Shift-I for Windows or Command-Shift-I for Mac. But right now, I'm just going to hit Import. And if you look over on the left side, you see we have a source option. This allows us to choose the source from which the images will be imported. Um, in this video, I am just importing existing images, and all the images that I have are stored on my external hard drive right here. You can see my internal hard drive is here, but for now, I will just be using this. Also, if you have, if your um, hard drive does not show up, you can click select a source. And if you still can't find it, you can click Other Source. And here you can type in your name. But since my hard drive shows up over here, I will select it. And you see that there are no photos found. Um, it is because all of my photos are in folders, which is what we wanted. So to show the photos, I'm going to click Include Subfolders. Because these images are already organized, I simply just want to add them to my Lightroom catalog. So I'll go up here and click Add. Um, I do not want to copy or move them into a new location. They are fine where they are. So now I want to start um, managing these images into Lightroom. So at the top, I'm going to click Add, and these will add the photos. At the bottom, you have the option to turn off the checkbox for individual images, to uncheck all images, or to check all images. In this tutorial, we want to check all, because we are importing all the photos on my external hard drive. Next, 
we will look over to the right panel. Here you can see build previews. There is minimal, embedded, and sidecar, standard, and one-to-one. -one. I use the standard option so that I have a nice preview that's about the size of my monitor display. It's built in advance for all the images. This also means that I'm not wasting a lot of hard drive space by generating a one-to-one -one preview. Next is the Build Smart Previews. You want to have this on if you know that you will be editing a photo without your external hard drive. So let's say all of your photos are on your external hard drive and you know that there are a few important photos that you need to edit, but you know that you will not have your hard drive with you. Click this when you import these photos and you can edit them without your external hard drive. But right now, I do not want this checked because it does take up hard drive space. Next is the don't import suspected duplicates. I, as a rule, always keep this checked. Lightroom does a good job at detecting not only the name of the photos, but it actually detects what it's comprised of and um, it will not import duplicates. Then to make a second copy, as you can see, it is not it will not let me click on it. Um, this is because I am not importing from my camera or SD card. I am importing photos that I have already imported and put on my external hard drive. Okay, so this next option, Develop Settings, um, allows me to apply settings to all photos. Um, I will not use that here because I have a variety of lighting situations. Um, so it won't work, but I could apply a black and white filter if I wanted to. You would use this if you were shooting in a studio and all of your lighting situations were the same. You could apply a preset or if you wanted, again, all your photos to be black and white. So here's the option for metadata. Um, you might want to use this just to have some information behind your photos, um, copyright information, or information about you. Here I already have some presets, so I will show you what it looks like. Here you can type in your preset name, and this is just how you can find it whenever you upload photos. And what I did is I came down and changed the copyright status to copyrighted. I, you can type in your copyright by hitting option G, that'll give you the symbol, and then your name. And then you can put in your URL, and this is where they will find the copyright info. Um, I do not have copyright info on my website, but they can go here if they want any information about me or how to contact me. Hit done, save. Um, so if you have these presets and you upload your photos, you want a different preset, just select it, it'll apply it to all the photos. You want to keep it pretty general as well. Um, if you're importing a specific group of photos, you can type keywords, but as of now, I just want to keep it general, so I'm keeping this blank. So now that we covered everything, it's time to hit import. and all your photos, including the metadata and adjustments you applied, will appear on all of your photos. Thank you. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to our video so you can see all the new ones coming out, and... Also like. And share them with your friends, okay? Make sure you share them with your friends, and also... We'd like to see your comments on what other topics you would like for us to produce. Tell us what you want, and we'll produce it for you, okay? Stay tuned.